So if I'm gonna do a tour, I needed to get it done before my kids wake up. We just got a lot of rain, so everything is really wet. And I would have loved to have done this tour when the yard was clean, but if I'm being honest, it's always messy like this. So we call ourselves the Half Acre Homestead because we have half an acre in town, small town in Nebraska. So I'll just give you a quick look around. This is my rabbit barn. So it's our carport. And then I just added cages. We're working on it every year. Every year it looks a little different. We use an old army tent as like feed storage. It keeps the feed dry and then gives us some extra space. So this is the rabbit barn. I have tractors for the rabbits just kind of floating around the yard. This is where the grow outs go. This is our quail coop. We just converted the chicken coop to a quail coop. We basically, we just had to secure <clears throat> secure the um, outside with more wire to make sure that they couldn't get out and nothing could get in. They're enjoying it. So going past the quail coop is our garden area. We do have some fence netting just kind of loosely going around the outside because deer do jump in our yard. I have some herbs in this box here. Tea herbs, cooking herbs. We do plan to chip all of this this fall to have more space in here. Most of the things in my garden are doing pretty well this year. Did have some issues with my tomatoes early on. We had some herbicide drift. But they seem to be recovering and we might get some after all. Carrots, cucumbers, my green beans did not do well, but that's okay. We have potatoes, sweet corn, and popcorn. Our Swiss chard is done for the season. I've just been using it to feed the rabbits. And our sweet potatoes got a late start, but they seem to be doing all right. Two assorted things. We planted artichoke. My mother-in-law gave me a few seeds. It did pop up, but we're not really sure what an artichoke plant looks like. So if anyone knows what an artichoke plant looks like, I'd love to see one. And then down behind the garden, we have our row of willows that we use for the rabbits. Planted them a few years ago. They're doing good. And outside the garden fence, we have comfrey, which is doing great. And our rhubarb. We just planted the rhubarb this year. I need to mulch around it again. We've had some Japanese beetles, but all in all, the rhubarb has been doing pretty good. And this is our row of willows. And then along this shed, we have our compost pile. We dump kitchen scraps, extra stuff from the rabbit barn. Right now it's mostly weeds. There's actually pumpkins growing on the other side from last year. We're gonna let those grow. Plenty of yard space. This is the middle of the yard is mostly for the rabbit tractors and the kids to play. I do have four small children. There's not a whole lot that we're able to do outside of the fence, but I did build these um, raised beds to eventually plant things specifically for the rabbits. Put some blackberries back here and we'll see how they do. They don't get a ton of sunshine, but it seemed like the best place for them. We were given these beds after someone was moving and these are going to be my future strawberry beds. Super excited. That is going to be a lot of strawberries. We'll move them into the garden first, of course. And if you know me, I'm the person who puts a tomato cage around a weed in their yard because 
I want it to spread. I love mullein. It's the only one I've seen in our yard, so we're gonna let it spread. That's about it, folks. God bless this mess. <laughs>